His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 73 for 2016 appointing Dr. Ibrahim Janahi as Chief Executive Officer of the Labour Fund Timkin for a three-year term. He also issued Royal Decree 74 appointing Mohammed Al Qaid as Chief Executive Officer of the Information and E-Government Authority with the rank of Under Secretary. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 75 for this year appointing Mohammed Boubshet as the General Director of the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority for a term of three years. His Majesty also issued Royal Decree 76 organizing the structure of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority. His Royal Highness Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, late yesterday attended an event aboard Britain's HMS Defender as part of the 200th anniversary celebration of Bahrain-UK relations. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Deputy, the Deputy King emphasized that the Bahrain-UK relations is built on mutual respect and a shared pursuit of safety, stability and prosperity for both nations. His Royal Highness also noted the relevance of uh, marking the uh, bicentenary celebrations abroad the impressive HMS Defender as both countries look forward to the opening of Britain's HMS Jufair Naval Base later in the year. In his remark, His Royal Highness highlighted that Bahrain and the UK hold a shared histo history and partnership that has continuously sought to protect the values that both countries hold dear. dear. His Royal Highness emphasized that both countries must continue to share experiences and learn from one another as Bahrain and the UK have many areas of common interest, including security, economic and public policy interests. His Royal Highness concluded that by stressing that continued cooperation and joint working will lead to brighter futures for both countries. The British ambassador to the United to the Kingdom thanked His Royal Highness for attending the event and for the crucial role he plays in further strengthening ties between the UK and Bahrain. He underlined that Bahrain and the UK share a long and special history and that relations span a huge array of shared interests. The ambassador also noted that the UK and Bahraini governments, as well as companies, schools, clubs and community organizations will host a year-long series of events that will touch on business, culture, sports, education, food and fashion.
His Royal Highness Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, uh, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Ghadaybiya Palace today newly appointed Egyptian ambassador to Bahrain, Ms. Suha Al Far. His Royal Highness highlighted the deep rooted historic relations between Bahrain and Egypt and pointed out the two countries' keenness to reinforce joint cooperation to achieve the best interest of both countries and people. He wished the newly appointed Egyptian diplomat success in performing her duties and consolidate joint cooperation, stressing the role of Egypt in supporting Arab solidarity in addition to its tremendous or tremendous efforts in dealing with all challenges facing the nation, specifically the danger of terrorism. His Royal Highness Deputy of His Majesty the King said the strong bonds between the two countries supported the bilateral relations and strategic ties in light of exchanging official visits, which enhanced economic and investment of cooperation in addition to other fields. For her part, Ms. Alfar expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his care and interest to further strengthen bilateral relations in all fields, confirming keenness to contribute through its term in Bahrain to promote joint cooperation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at the Libya Palace today a number of senior state officials. The Prime Minister confirmed the importance of unifying stances in dealing with different issues, highlighting the strength of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia thanks to its leadership and honorable stances for the Arab and Islamic nations. He said these stances of brotherly countries in support to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia reflects respect and appreciation in its Arab, Islamic and international surroundings. His Royal Highness pointed out the deep-rooted historic relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia based on unity of religion and a destiny which made bilateral relations a model of ties between countries. The Prime Minister confirmed the necessity of unifying Gulf decisions in regard to the security of the region's security and stability and the importance of unifying stances out of its shared destiny. His Royal Highness also highlighted how the Bahraini journalism dealt with the political and social situation and its national responsibility and handling all events. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at the Libya Palace today newly appointed Egyptian ambassador to Bahrain, Ms. Suha Al Far. His Royal Highness confirmed the deep rooted historic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Egypt and the ongoing development in joint cooperation in all fields. The Prime Minister expressed Bahrain's keenness to further enhance cooperation and coordination and pointed out support to the newly appointed ambassador for all governmental bodies wishing her success in performing her diplomatic duty. For her part, the Egyptian ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to his, to his Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, highlighting his keenness to consolidate cooperation in all fields. She also expressed pleasure in working in the kingdom, uh, taking into consideration the deep-rooted bilateral relations. His Royal Highness said the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at the Palace today, General Secretary of Al Minbar National Islamic Society, Dr. Ali Ahmed Abdullah, and a, or several members of the society's board. His Royal Highness confirmed the government's keenness to support the work of societies and civil society institutions to perform their national role in supporting the development and modernization process of the kingdom. He highlighted the effective participation of national political societies and the success of parliamentarian action of Bahrain stressing the necessity to unify efforts for the best interests and prosperity of the king country. The Prime Minister pointed out the role of Al Minbar National Islamic Society in accordance to national foundations that support preserving 
or preserving the kingdom's security and stability. He said the Bahraini society is rich in the intellectual and the cultural aspects, calling on enhancing openness and varying approaches in dealing with different issues in service of the kingdom and its people. He said the ongoing challenges facing the region require unity to protect the country's security and stability. For his part, Al Minbar Society's General Secretary expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his role in supporting national issues and meeting the demands of the people, highlighting His Royal Highness's stances, which preserves the status of Bahrain regionally and internationally. First Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ali Al Aradi, chaired today the weekly meeting. The Council approved a suggestion regarding the government taking necessary measures to solve annual problems caused by rain. The Council approved a suggestion regarding cutting commercial relations and diplomatic ties with Iran and cutting air and sea navigation. The Council also agreed to issue a statement that supports uh, the steps and procedures taken against Iran in order to support the measurements taken by Saudi Arabia to maintain their security and stability. The Council approved a report uh, by the Services Committee regarding the establishment of a national commission that regulates professions and health services. The Council approved a report by the Economic and Financial Affairs Committee regarding amending the free trade agreement between Bahrain and the USA and another report by the same committee on the agreement between Bahrain and Portugal regarding double taxation. Good evening and welcome to Business News on Bahrain TV. Labor and Social Development Minister Jameel bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan said yesterday during the weekly cabinet meeting that the total number of workers in the Kingdom of Bahrain in the third quarter of last year grew by 6%. He added that the number of national workers registered with the General Organization of Social Insurance, GOZI, increased to more than 158,182 by the end of the third quarter last year. Hamedan said that the increase was due to the satisfaction of the requirements for implementation of the government action plan and government's efforts in paving attractive investment environment in the kingdom to expand the current business and attract new overseas investments, resulting in the increase of the demand for local and expat workers. The Central Bank of Bahrain CBB announced today that this week's 70 million Bahraini dinars issue of government treasury bills, which is issued on behalf of the government of Bahrain, has been fully subscribed by 136 percent. The weighted average rate of interest is 1.86 percent compared to 1.83 percent for the last issue, which was on the 30th of December. The Bahrain Osher Index closed today at 1,210.03 points, a decrease of 3.08 points of yesterday's previous closing. The fall was in the industrial and commercial banking sector. Investors traded mainly in the commercial banking, representing 90% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 60 equity transactions that took place with a volume of 761,208 shares worth a total value of 142,297 Bahraini dinars.